Hi. I'm back. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you all being patient with me, uh, especially during this uh, COVID-19. I hope all of you are safe out there and uh, we will all get through this. Anyways, <laughs> uh, if you guys all remember in my previous video where uh, I took care of the uh, front uh, bull bar, I uh, explained that the next video that I'm going to be taking care of uh, was the um, upper and lower ball joints and the inner and outer tie rod ends. Well, we are still going to take care of that, but slight delay because of the COVID-19, everything that I ordered for tools wise has been uh, delayed uh, for delivery. So um, basically what we're going to be working on is the vinyl of the truck. And this is going to take about a two or three day process. So hopefully I can crunch this video down to a limited, uh, you know, hopefully 15, 20 minute video for you guys to watch. Uh, but bear with me. Stay, stay tuned. I've got a lot more stuff uh, to show you, including uh, possibly a hint on the wheels that I have here that I've been kind of throwing out lately. Um, won't hold you guys um, anymore in suspense. Uh, they are through, uh, a good company called wheel pros. So, um, but anyways, the vinyl I picked up is not specifically for the Dodge Durango. All right. So you have to do a lot of fabrication, which is the reason why I say it's going to take me by myself at least two or three days to take care of, because it's a pretty extensive vinyl. Um, we are going to be doing a little bit of cleaning and making sure that none of the tar is on the body and, uh, we're going to do a wash and all that. And like I said, uh, first things first is let me show you the vinyl. Now I know don't give me, uh, too much of a hard time, but I'm hoping you guys like that scheme. Uh, it's called the nightmare. Uh, basically, if you see right in here where that gas lid is, you know, for the side, that's going to end up going away. Um, and we're going to do a lot of fabrication with this in the next couple of days to make it fit right. They are meant for the Dodge Ram 1500s. So they do make them for the long cabs and they do long cabs and they do make them for the regular cab. So. What I'm doing is making something different out of a Durango that no one's ever done. So hopefully everything works out and we'll get everything situated. But let me show you exactly what I'm going to be doing first. All right. So I've got this solution here, what we always use all the time. Wax and tar remover from Rust-Oleum. I love this stuff. I say it in all my videos, whenever I do use this for any type of paint work, any type of gunk that I need to wash off, I love using this stuff. Rosoleum, you did an amazing job on this stuff. If you look at where my fingers are from where the top of the line of the rear bumper to where basically the pointer of my finger is, is where this vinyl is going to sit. <laughs> So the skull that's going to be on here is going to cover up this entire window here and then this entire portion right here. And like I said, the tank door is in a different position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the skull, overlap it, and then I'm going to kind of like cut it, overlay, and make it kind of blend in so it looks like it was part of the design. All of this basically is going to be covered and then we're going for a side design. So it's going to be kind of right there along the side of the truck and up. So it's going to come down and kind of like up and down this way in a way. All 
All right. I've already got two coats down. All I need now is to put at least one more coat down and we should be good to go for tomorrow's wash. We're back again at day two with the install of the vinyl on the body of the truck. Um, I've already taken the liberty of washing the truck and getting all the tar and wax uh, remover uh, gunk off, all the solvent, everything. I washed everything with a nice um, Meguiar's uh, soap. But anyways, let's get ahead. I'm going to show you exactly what I've done. I've already cut out the templates and stuff and laid out what I'm going to be starting out with. I do have a lot more templates that need to be cut out, so I'll show you how I cut everything. Uh, and then we'll set the rest of everything on there. What do you guys think? Now, I'm going to be you know, fabric, uh, modifying the, the vinyl itself, like cutting the bottom out and everything like that. So I've got it taped up for right now as a template. Uh, I'm hoping this side is a pretty much the same way. Uh, it's a work in progress. I'm going to, we're ready to go with everything. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get started and peeling everything. Oh, before I do that. Okay, so look how shiny everything is. I can see my other shed. But look how if my tra All right, there we go. You see how focused? You see all that tar and gunk and everything? It's gone on both sides. This is what tar and remo uh wax remover does and by rustoleum so it is a beautiful day out but let's get started i'm going to peel everything off and i've got some uh, uh lukewarm water and some uh kind of a little mix of dawn uh, soap and water mixed uh we're going to peel the white layer piece off we're going to spray both sides and then we're going to basically maneuver everything and set it to where it needs to be squeegee everything out of the way uh, all the excess water and junk and all the air pockets and then cut everything that i don't want on there and peel everything completely off all right so let's get started So what do you guys think so far? Looks pretty cool, huh? I got this side all done. That's ready to go. I don't know if you guys can really 
There you go. Uh, there are a few little bubble spots around the area, but that's because I had to do a little bit of adjustment. Uh, I did have a little bit of a hiccup. I was kind of off by just a, just a, just a bit of a centimeter off, uh, backwards, uh, back more, but I was able to get everything and it doesn't look any different from the other side. It really looks like it's coming out really nice. Um, so all I have to do now is we're going to let both sides sit and dry for a few hours and then yeah we will get back to it the next day hello again everybody day three and i'm hoping you guys are really sticking around for this video because uh uh it's taking a lot to do with just one person so um and on top of that i've decided to do something a little bit different with uh, the design of uh, this whole scheme. Um, thank you, uh, Factory Crafts. Uh, the design looks amazing. You guys did a really good job with it. But um, unfortunately, I'm going to be chopping up your entire design and using your pattern to do a different pattern my way. Um, because I can't utilize this piece right here although I can you I can use most of the other pieces over here I can do a little bit of cutting or whatever but I can't use this piece right here because of the fuel tank that I have and the fuel tank door so I've decided like I said to chop up my own patterns and to get everything the way I want it. So these are solid pieces I'm going to use. This is going to be for the uh, right around the, the fender, rear fender. And then that solid piece, I'll figure out something. But I chopped each individual piece from the patterns that they sent me. And we're going to do something a little different my way without bringing it to a professional, especially right now during these times uh, where we're just sitting at home doing absolutely nothing. All right, everybody, here we go. This is what we got. All right. I created something pretty cool looking, as a matter of fact. Um, if you notice, the skull that we did is nice. And if you step back just a little, and I didn't even notice this until I started taking really, you know, a really good look at it. It kind of looks like a mountainside heading up on a peak and then right on top of it is a skull. So the the design, the vinyl design is named Nightmare and I can't use Skull Mountain. <laughs> uh, so I think what we're going to do is call it uh, Mount Nightmare. But yet here's the thing, guys. Do you all like the design that I have on here? Do you like what uh, you see? If you do, let me know. I'm going to leave it up to all of you guys to vote. Um, I left the other side of the vehicle blank for the time being with just the skull. And the reason why I did that is because I want you guys, my subscribers and new viewers, new subscribers that are going to be heading into the channel, to vote. Within uh, a week's time, let's say by uh, Saturday of this week, all right, I want you guys to place your votes down below in the comments, uh, yes or no, Y or N, you know what I mean? Keep the design with the mountain look and call it Mount Nightmare, or leave just the skull and leave the side of the vehicle blank so before we head out all right um with this video i do want to prove to you guys we do have a set of wheels so here we are guys like i said i do have a set of wheels and they are not ready to be put on the truck yet 
reason for being is because I still needed to get a set of tires and they're pretty expensive for the tires that I'm wanting to get. But, yep. And the reason why I'm not taking the rim completely out to show you guys is because I want you all to stick around. Because that's going to be the last jigsaw puzzle that I put on the vehicle when it comes to the body and the interior of the truck. Um, I've got a lot more stuff that's getting done. Uh, we are doing a bunch of stuff while we're in uh, basically quarantine is what you call it. Um, again, a lot of stuff is going to be happening really, really soon. So stay tuned. My tools are coming in early. Just got notifications. So we're going to be doing the suspension and the painting here in the next video. Hopefully. If not, I still have my HD mirror link box and my rear view, uh, my rear view camera that needs to be installed and the Durango as well. We can do that as well for the time being until we can get everything in. But for you, all of you guys that are new to the channel, again, subscribe. For those that you are on my channel and subscribe, definitely all of you hit that vote yes or no for keeping the design that I have right now as a yes, no, to take it out and leave the skull. All right. I will see you all next time. Later, guys. Please be safe and in good health. All right. Later.